So you have clicked this video because you want to know if Ant-Man is a good movie or not. Well, yes, the answer is yes. Honestly, you can stop watching this video right now and just go watch the movie because it's good. Now I'm going to tell you why it's good. So allow me to rephrase what I said. It's not a good movie. It is a great movie. This movie is very good. It is amazing. Okay. I loved it so much. I'm going to see it again, probably, hopefully, unless no one wants to see it with me because I am alone. Anyways, this film stars Paul Rudd as Scott Lang, the second Ant-Man, but he's not the original Ant-Man. That's the thing that matters. He's not the original one. This movie is the first movie that uses a character that's not the original character as the main character. Um, Hank Pym, who is the first Ant-Man, is in the movie. He's played by Michael Douglas, who does an amazing job. I don't know. Like, I did not realize it while I was watching it, but after I finished, I realized how good he did as Hank Pym. Michael Douglas is amazing. Michael Douglas is amazing. So, the story of this movie is Hank Pym is a scientist who worked for S.H.I.E.L.D. and he created a particle that he didn't want S.H.I.E.L.D. to have because he knew that S.H.I.E.L.D. would do some weird, quacky, crazy, inflatable arm flailing man to man stuff with it. So he's like, I don't want you to use it. But S.H.I.E.L.D.'s like, nah man, we, we have you so you gotta let us use it. And then he's like, no. And he just leaves. And he goes, he becomes a recluse for God knows how long. Anyways, later, blah, 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 Scott Lang is in prison, blah, 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 he fights in prison, he gets released from prison, blah, blah, blah. Scott Lang is a, I guess, a robber, he's a thief, you know, he's a very cool Sly Cooper-esque person, and he has a daughter who's, you know, there's always those kind of issues in movies, but basically, what I like about this movie is the plot is not an extremely big thing, you know, we just had Avengers, Age of Ultron, a disappointing movie and now we have this one which is scaled down to meet what ant-man is you know ant-man shouldn't be involved in all that stuff because he isn't an established hero in the universe yet so for if they would have had him have some big major thing like world shattering thing with a bunch of robots and shit going on it wouldn't have made any sense because he is this is his origin story he shouldn't be involved in all that kind of stuff right now this movie does tie into the rest of the Marvel Universe, as in, you know, Age of Ultron didn't have any Pym particles in it, which is what Hank Pym does. He makes Pym particles. In this movie, they explain why it wasn't in, in the Marvel Universe at all so far. Kind of. It was kind of like a... Bleh, I guess it's a good excuse, but they explain it. There's also references to other heroes in this movie. There's Avengers references. Um, there's Avengers characters in it. And there's also... A reference to a new character is going to be popping up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Who is it? I don't know. Maybe he'll swing by. So the thing that this movie does well is that it doesn't take itself too seriously, which is what this movie should be about. In the comic books, I'm pretty sure I think Scott Lang is kind of not as serious as, you know, some other comic heroes in the comic books right now. And this movie with Paul Rudd as the title character is very good. He is amazing, and I think that he was a very good choice. Um, Michael Pena, or is it Michael Pena? I don't know how to pronounce it. He plays Paul Rudd's friend, who is Scott Lang's friend, blah, 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 in the movie. And he's very funny, as always. He's always funny in his movies. Um, basically, every character was really good in this movie. I loved it. Some of my most favorite scenes were just little faces that Paul Rudd would make. There was one scene in particular where he does something, no spoilers, he does something and he comes back and they're like, whoa, you got this? You did it? And then he's like... He has the face like, what, you thought I wasn't? Or... <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I'm Ant-Man. So it's things like that that makes this movie stand out to me. And I think it's a very good like first viewing of Ant-Man, you know, a way to introduce him. This movie is very good. Please go see it. Because I, I've talked to so many people and they're all like, no, I'm not going to see it because it's, it's Ant-Man and he's lame, blah, blah, blah. This movie's not lame. This movie's very far from lame. It's one of the best Marvel movies so far to me. It's definitely better than Age of Ultron. Oh my God, it's so much better than Age of Ultron. So please go see this movie. It's very good. You won't be disappointed. And hopefully you guys enjoyed my review of it. You know, it's not really a review. It's kind of just me saying, hey, go see it because it's really good, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. <laughs>
I'm not a good reviewer if I like something a lot. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week with another video. What will it be? Who knows? But there might be two videos next week. Oh, my God. Two videos. I can't believe it. Anyways, goodbye. Peace. Go see the movie. Peace. Okay, for real. Go see the movie, though. Like, I'm not lying. Go see it. Peace.